This your boy Crip Sag, man, Compton Chapter, tapping in. I just want to touch bases this morning on uh <clears throat> on speaking to Devlin um, from Cedar Block. The person I spoke on in the three part series on the Kid Max video. And it turned out to be a wonderful conversation, bro. And uh it's amazing how God connects people, you know, because that man, he also changed his life as well. You know, he told me, he said, say, first we was kind of arguing in the comments. But when we talked, uh, I seen the last comment, he said, Sag, I'm a preacher now, man. He said, I don't game bang no more. He said, I should have told you that. So he reached out to me because, you know, my, my phone number, man, I fear nobody because, uh, my number all up and down my social media. Yeah, I give it out on here seven zero two four seven two three three two one. But I won't pick up if you ain't logged in my phone. Now, if you text me or leave a message, say, hey, sag this so and so so and so man, and I, I won't talk to you or something. Yeah, then I'll call you back. But other than that, I don't deal with strangers, and then there's some people that I don't want to deal with at all. Period. I don't. I don't have nothing to say to them. And I don't want to hear nothing they have to say. So it's just some people that are that been cut off in my life completely, and I don't want to have nothing to do with them whatsoever. You know what I mean? So, but you know, my number is seven zero two four seven two three three two one. Anybody can reach out and holler at me, brother. I ain't got a problem with that. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, man, De uh, Devin and man, he reached out to me last night, man. And we talked a good while, you know. And then, you know, like I told him, I said, you know, I had my story kind of twisted a little bit because I thought he was on a bike. But he said, no, Zach, I was in my car. He said, your brother Hub was on the bike. And I told him, you know, the more it come to light, I told him, I said, as a matter of fact, I wasn't outside. I just heard the shots ring out. And I come running out the house with the gun. And Harold was getting in, in the car to, to get in position to, to go after him. And I hopped in the car with my brother. Hub didn't even get in the car with Hub. was just yelling, that was definitely from Cedar Block. So he went that way. So me and Harold, whoop, hopped in the car and, and tried to pursue the guy. You know what I mean? Yes. But like I told him, either way, it wasn't no lie. You know, he admitted himself that he shot at her. He said, yeah. He said, Sag, I was in my car. And he said, I saw a hub on the bike. And then as, as, he was, as we talked that night, I said, yeah, as a matter of fact, homie, I said, I was in the house when the shots rang out. And I come running out the house. And, you know, he was yelling, definitely did it, right? So I, he jumped, I jumped in the car with my brother, the other brother, and we go after him, you know what I mean? But what I told him was, before we started our conversation last night, I said, hey, man, before we even start the conversation, I said, I said, let me set this down for you. I said, it was rumors that you was dead, bro, that you got killed. I was told that he, he, was, he got killed. But he's not. He's alive, you know what I mean? And I told him, I said, well, man, shit, I heard you was dead, bro. It was rumors that you was killed. I said, but, uh. I thank God that you're not, you know what I mean? So I thank God that you you still here on this earth, bro. You said, yeah, Saggy he said, man, I done changed my life, man. I'm a preacher now. And you know, God is awesome, bro. Not only is God turning me around, God turning plenty of people around, bro. They, they come out the same, uh, out the same environments and cultures that I came out of. You know, God turning a lot of us around, man. You know, but yeah, man, it's a small world, man. Finding out my cousins is his cousins, and you know? <laughs> I'm like, wow, man, small motherfucking world, ain't it? And that's the thing, man. You know, a lot of us is family, bro. A lot of us is family, and we out of rival uh, areas and, and and stuff. You know, I really enjoyed the conversation with Devlin um, last night. 
and we done locked each other numbers in, man, and, and, and promised to stay in touch, bro. I mean, it's amazing some of the things that God can do. I'm just glad that I'm a survivor of the era that I come out of, man, because we had plenty killed during that era, bro. And we talking about tens and tens of thousands of people killed coming out of that era, bro. And and some of us are survivors, man. Mm. Some people survived because they went to prison and got off the streets for a while. See, and the thing with me, homie, I never went to prison. I was in the streets all along, homie. All along. I was in them streets, man. You know, when all my homies was in prison and shit, I was, I was on the street. The hood always had sad, cuz. Unless I went to Mississippi or something like that. But the hood always had me, cuz. Everybody else was in prison and all that and shit and wasn't around. Sack was there, homie. Sack was there, cuz. You know, there ain't no denying that, homie. You know, y'all know that. Y'all know Sag never been to prison. Some guys try to use that against me. Oh, that nigga ain't never been to the pen. He ain't never did no time. You know, like y'all, like you get extra points for being in prison or something. Because I don't get points for that shit on me. You just got caught, nigga. You know what I mean? Guys that I get points to that's sitting in prison is the niggas who put it in for they hood, homie. Or for they family or something. You understand? You know, them niggas I give props to niggas like them. You know, who 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 went all out for they hood, homie. I mean, you know what I mean? And they might end up on death row for the acts they did, or never gonna get out for the acts they did. But they went out and, and, and justified the means for they hood, homie. They 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 sacrificed themselves, they lied to do that. Them dudes, cuz, I salute, homie. But you niggas who did time for drug dealing, purse snatching, you know, robberies and can on, and y'all ass just got caught. Cuz that's on y'all. I don't get you no points for that, homie. I don't get you no points for that, cuz. That's on you. You just got caught, homie. You know. Now, you might sat up in there on a, on a drug... In a, on a prison sentences for drugs and sat in there 14 years or something and, and you on the yards and shit flexing and you know you that nigga cause you, you know I'm, I'm on the yard I'm that nigga cause I don't get points for that cause you just got caught homie you know you just got caught you understand now like I say uh you know do some shit like Petey Wag did cause you know, you know, do some shit like that. I'll give you some points, cuz. You understand? You know, nigga knock your homeboy down, and you said, fuck that. You take it to they door. You take it to they door. Do some shit like Petey White, cuz, and, and, and sit in jail for that. You know, I, I'll give you the nod. I'll give you the salute, homie. You understand? But I'm saying, if... If you ain't on drug dealing, stealing, robbing, pimping, that, that's, you don't get no points for that for me, cuz you just got caught, cuz. You understand? But you actually got niggas who try to use that against me by me not being, going to prison. Oh, nigga, you ain't, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm glad I haven't been to prison. And I encourage every young man today, don't go to prison. Don't waste your life in fucking prison, homie. I went to the California Youth Authority and learned enough when I went there. I'm like, man, this shit ain't for me doing the jail. But I was stubborn. I got home from Youth Authority. It took me 16, 17 months of being on uh, parole before I started breaking the law again. You know, robbing and stealing and can huh? You know? But, unfortunately, I didn't get caught, cuz. Unfortunately, I didn't get caught. 
But yeah, um, YouTube on that note, man. This your boy Crip Sag just tapping in, man. I just wanted to share the story on how I ran across Devlin last night. And uh, y'all know the story because I mentioned the man in the Kid Mac interview. You know what I mean? And then that, that's what I told him. I said, you know, man, I said, hmm, I, I don't need to lie about what I say. I said, uh, and I tell him, I said, uh, you just said yourself that you shot at us. Now, I say, but you said I just told the story wrong. You said, no, say, Hub was on the bike. I was in the car. You know, and that's where the mix-up came. I thought you was on the bike, homie. Mm -hmm. And you said, no, say, I'm on the, on the bike. I was in the car. And I told him, I said, us coming after you led up to me finding the writing on the wall. You know what I mean? Because I told him, like I said, I wasn't kicking it in your hood or hanging over there or nothing. I said, what brought me over there was when we was pursuing you. And I said, I just happened to see the shit on the wall. And it caught my attention. And then I told him when I had to run in with the South Sides for when the, the, the Hub and Poochie rest in PBC on, the, on my sweatshirt. And they came, they came to knock my head off. I was like, wow, man, shit. You know. And so it always stuck on my conscience, homie. And that's how that, that meeting came together to bring all the Comptons together for that while that we were together. So, yeah, it's a small world, man. You know what I mean? So don't ever be afraid to face your demons at all, you know. I wasn't intimidated by Devlin at all. You know, when he hit me on the line, I'm like, who is this? And then when he finally told me who he was, I told him I was in busy at the moment, but I told him I'd definitely get back to you when I'm done, and I did, so I reached out to him, we made that connection, everything good with me and that brother, man, you know, like he says, I ain't got nothing against you, bro, you know, I ain't got nothing against him neither, he said, Sag, just back then, we was gangbanging, that's the type of shit we was doing, you know, he said, but other than that, man, I ain't got nothing against you, bro, I'm like, I ain't got nothing against you neither, my man, so there it is, man. You know, it's a beautiful thing, man. You know, I mean, you know, two former rivals, because we ain't no rivals no more. But two former rivals, man, meet up again, you know. And, and the last time we met up, you know, it, it wasn't a pleasant one. You understand? But it ended in a righteous and good way. So on that note, brother, I hope that everybody else can can learn by example and me and that man put out an example you understand we we was once willing to get at each other next and now we willing to make amends homie and, and, and move on with our lives we passed that stage like I said you know what I mean I had a talk with a significant other you know that was based on a rival thing. And he like said, we need to let bygones be bygones. And we all need to just move on with our lives, bro. And I told him, I, I told him, I said, I totally agree with you, man. So. Let, let's, let's, let's all live some, homie. Let's let the past be bygones, homie. I know it's tough, man, to let go of loved ones, and we're not going to let go of loved ones, homie. They live through us. But we just want to turn around to a positive so none of those people die in vain. I love you all, man. May God bless and protect each and every last one of us. It's like the message has been lost. How much money does a black life cost? Every time we kill another brother, we keeping people employed who profit when we kill another. How can we make a change instead of pointing at others for the blame? Shit, let's put some gasoline on the flame and burn this bitch down if they don't hear what we saying. Better be strapped for the peace. They talking about defunding police. 
Gun stores sold out for six weeks I'm smelling something in the air And it reeks Black lives matter all the time Not just when one of them kills one of our kind Cause I don't ever see Al Sharpton speaking When Chicago has 30 murders in one week I'm together, we gon' Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Pay attention, maybe slow down and just listen. It's my state of mind, I'm dreaming, I'm on a mission. Trying to push the world for peace, no more hate. I got my black fist up in the corner to demonstrate. Let's get it straight this time. Movement is all over the world, energy divine. What were you when the revolution got started? Black people fed up, more than really departed. We all living on this earth, we human, nobody rowdy. Marching in units in George Floyd, chanting loudly. How many brothers have to die? We already realize equality's alive. I'm trying to get it by any means that be necessary. Red and blue lights flashing behind me can't be very scary. I see the police before they see me. Get out the car, roll the ground down on your knees. Please. The pigmentation of my skin is current situation Got me feeling like the revolution's about to begin On the different type of vibes, so many ready for change Fist in the atmosphere, sick and tired of the games Being played by these slain, ain't no fucks given Only justification is I fit the description Trapped in the system, just another digit In a private prison, trying to keep the optimism It's tearing me to the core, how many more we gon' lose? We got the right to live a life without you and me Know what we do, enlighten the youth Feed the knowledge, give them tools Running the race, coming out of my shoe Taking it all the way back to my room it's a different time, we ain't going for it You see this power in numbers, keep on ignoring You see us coming together, together we growing They feel the change in this coming, you better know I'm in here, we gon' lose I'm in here, 31 You angry at 16, you better know that you gon' lose I'm in here, we gon' lose I'm in here, 31 